Okay guys, it's 8.45 in the morning. I got a bag of keys here. And I'm better using a bag than putting them all in my pocket. So my pocket doesn't get weighed down. This is a lot easier. But I used to, a long time ago, I used to put keys in here and pretend I was doing a bunch of startups. Well, this time I actually am, so I put them in a bag. So, yeah, most most things have been, haven't been started in a week or over a week. has been on vacation in Florida. You guys seen the little videos, so. That one's probably been, start, it's probably been started before a week ago, of course. There's been a few vehicles that it's been before a week since it was running, but most of them have been sitting for a week or longer, but I don't know where to start. We might start at the Buick and make our way around. So, actually, no, we'll start at the tractor because I got the key for that right now. So, might try to start that thing because it's been uncovered and it's been raining all last week. So, we can probably try to start that very last. But let's do the tractor first. The good thing is, everything will stay running instead of get shut off. So. The bag will empty out pretty quickly. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Get the key for the Buick out. set them right here Fires right up like always, never went dead. As long as I keep firing it up, the battery should be just fine. There might be one vehicle I'm not gonna start right away, maybe two because it is kind of early, but it's getting a little bit later, but some people are probably still sleeping. But. All right, let's do the 05 flatbed. I don't know when that one was fired up. It, I bet you the owners fired it up since I did last, but there has been a few cold mornings here. So. And I know that one for sure has been sitting a week because I'm pretty much the only one that starts it. You know, maybe it hasn't been started since I fired it up last. Oh, it was already running. Good deal. Yeah, see, usually the owner starts this thing up every day, so... I was kind of expecting that, so... I'll let it run a little bit more, though. You usually don't run it until operating temperature, because you don't usually have time to let it run that long, but... Now let's fire that one up. And he tries to fire this truck up every day before we go to work. So I figured it was probably already running. So this one's been sitting though. And ever since I took the glove box light out, this thing hasn't died since. 
and this thing's gonna be full of water in the steering wheel. Somebody oh, us there's the radio. I don't know, but Bell. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll Free beer and hot wings, sure. I really like them. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pause it real quick and listen to this. Okay. I just wanted to hear those questions. It's called Dumb Rhythm Show Trivia. They play it every morning. But All right, let's fire up my Nissan. Get the key for it. There it is. I haven't ran that thing since this thing since last Sunday. But I did order some taillights for it on vacation. And I got some from the junkyard. And... Oh, what was that? Yep, we had something fall off. Yeah, once I heard that noise, I heard the belt quit squeaking. I'm like, yep, something seized up. There's the belt. I just wonder what it was. Didn't even. No. Nope. Everything's turning. Hmm. Oh, at least this thing fired up. I'm not gonna fire it up again, of course, because the belt. I wonder what the hell it was, though. Well. Good thing I heard it while I did because it probably would have killed these batteries. All right, let's fire this thing up. Where, where did I put the key? It's in my pocket. It didn't do too bad. Still needs a starter change, but I got one of those, of course. Because I don't want this thing to have issues starting when it gets cold out, so. Blower motor works now. That works just fine. Still smells like mouse. So. Yeah, there it is. Blower motor's fixed and the wipers are officially going so all right let's fire up the c65 all right all right maybe i should have looked under the hood of that flatbed first but it's been fine every other time so Getting a little lighter on keys now. <sighs> she rolled a little, but and it's been driven definitely. Well, it's definitely been used recently. And it's got more miles on it. Oh, the key's already in it. I didn't even see that. Guess I won't need that. Turn signal's on too. Blower thing's stuck. There we go. Yeah, I don't ever think about paying it. I don't even think the Z brake works. I don't know, it don't work. It ain't rolling though, so. Okay. Okay, not rolling. Oh, I'll put this key back then. We'll do the bus.
you guys know I got the same maintainer on this as I do the motor home so six amp try it without starting fluid because we never usually do but it's only it's like 53 out so it ain't too bad so Oh yeah, I got totes and stuff in the way. Alright, I won't be sitting in the seat of this thing then. See if the key will work. Nope. Yep, fired right up. Good deal. I'm going to let it do a normal idle. I'm not going to high idle it. Here we go. All right. Let's go do the 6,000. That one's going to be an interesting start because that one hasn't ran for quite a while. That one's gotten quite tricky to start. Still got old gas in it. But I do leave the maintainer on it. Even though it's got a marine battery in it, but this thing likes to go dead when it sits, so I just put the maintainer on it. And I gotta open up the hood. After I unplug this. There's a bucket on it to keep it from locking up. See? This thing still runs like crap, but it's got an EGR thing that's doesn't stay in there, so it causes it to run like crap a little. So let's see if I can fire it up. I'm not gonna pump it too much, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. Of course, you guys know what key it probably is, but I'll put the back inside with me. Guess I can check the coolant real quick. Oh yeah, I see it. I seen it in the camera. So flames come out the uh, carburetor not bad sitting for longer than a week and the gauge is working again she starts she starts pretty oh, cranks really fast close the hood let it run for a bit and then pile it down because it's really loud usually so it usually takes this thing a while to run on the low idle until it gets warmed up so I gotta leave it like this for a few minutes Move 
onto the gas truck. Oh yeah, this stuff's strong, isn't it? Here's my glasses. Sunglasses. Truck always fires right up. All right, red. I got two more vehicles to do, actually. And of course, the other key is from the C65 because it was already in there. junkyard radio put in this thing so it has a good working radio and bought two for it put the cleaner one in it didn't work as well as this one this one has all the preset stations good volume knob this is the one I put in it see now it's not clicking and carrying on Sounds like the starter connection there is uh, a little crappy. These gauges have a mind of their own like all the time. So, they'll start working eventually. So, yeah, I'll let you guys watch them. Yeah, they're already go. Yeah, there they are. There's the mileage. Alright, one more vehicle. Be the loudest one too. I gotta take the maintainer off it, I almost forgot. It's in the yellow. I might, I might have just turned yellow, actually. Yeah, I probably did. Well, I'm just going to unplug it here. Get it moved out of the way so it don't get warm. So. Let's kick it out. 